Hello everyone, you told me to not travel alone and I went overnight on a sleeping bus. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> Finally. So I have a list what to do and to try here in Mumbai based on your YouTube comments under my post. So thank you for that. And first quest is how to go from Bandra where I'm staying right now to Kolaba. I have to find a bus or train or tuk-tuk. I don't know yet. I like when cats and dogs are so good friends together especially while sleeping right here is my hostel hammock hostels these types of building I've seen so many times and videos about Mumbai and now I'm right here Wow at this point I don't know yet that my day does not go as planned I catch a panic attack at the railway station but in the train, I meet a bartender from a fancy restaurant and instead of trying different street food you advise me to try, I will eat Malai Kebab for 700 rupees. I also buy my future favorite short, in which I will be walking around South Korea's capital for the next seven days. What up? So, in Mumbai, I stayed at Hammock Hostel near Dandra village because it's close to the night bus stop and near international airport. And because I thought it's a nice area by the sea, but it's not a beach or walking area at all. It's a fish market where it's hard to breathe. And it's a giant garbage dump right in the sea. People come here to put their garbage bags into the water. It's almost impossible to believe when you see it the first time. Well, can you imagine this place? It's the very first place I visited in Mumbai. Even I promised myself going only to the nice places, not looking for the typical shocking content as YouTube shows. But as a result, those shocks find us themselves. Especially if we choose public transportation instead of taking all our cabs. Bus? How often? 10 minutes, 5 minutes? 5 minutes. 5 minutes. 10 bus, no? It's supposed to be 5 minutes waiting, but it's already 15. There are many people, everyone waiting for the bus, and it's so hot outside. <laughs> where, where are you? Bus number 220. 220. Please. <laughs> Keep it outside, somebody snatch and run right away. Ah. Don't keep it outside. Hello. Hello. Oh, 
The plan was pretty simple. I go by bus for 5 rupees, then catch the train to Kalaba. The bus was okay, except I waited for it during 20 minutes. The ticket officer spoke to me in good English, but I could not get anything because the station was chaotic. Some kids were asking for money. Many people waited in the line. And then... Where are you going? Kolaba. I don't understand, like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's scary because these kids, they are doing always like... God. You know, when people watch me like that, like, I feel so, so, so scary because in Colombia I got robbed with a gun and now I, I feel the fear, like really animal fear, you know, when and so many people around and everyone like, yeah, where's the train goes? I don't understand anything. <sighs> I'm ready to take a taxi and just go by taxi, but okay. Let's figure it out. Something. <laughs> there are like thousands of men and just couple of women here. Anyone speaking English? Okay. How many? Right. Hello. English? Do you speak English? Kolaba. Kolaba. I mean, if you do it every day, if you know the route, it's easy, of course, but when you first time in a huge city, like nobody around speak English, many people watch you, just they keep watching me. <laughs> so I stay in near women and <laughs> trying to figure out where this train goes. I, de I don't have a ticket, so I will ask inside. And then next step, I will see next step. First step is just go inside of the train. Look how I am following my instincts and what a great story gonna happen next. You speak English. Where the train goes? I have to go like to Colapa or something. But where, where should I go out? Where? <laughs> next station. No, okay, if I want to go to Kolaba. Get down last stop, church gates. Get down the church gates. Ah, and last then stop. take a cab, take a cab from okay. the church gates. So can we go to the okay. And if I don't have a ticket, ticket, where? Then they will put you fine. Why? Get down, take the ticket. Get down, can I take here or no? Okay. Yes. They take it. It's hard to move. Ah? It's hard to move. Can I but, uh, can I go without ticket? Let me say the fine is the case here. How much five? Five hundred rupees. Five hundred? Will will they charge me as a tourist? <laughs> what is it? 
If I come to your country, they will chat. Yes, that's right. Oh my God. My name is Tatiana. Tatiana. Yes, I'm, I'm from Russia. And it's, it's my first time taking a train. It's, uh -huh. it's really the quest. You so from you? Mumbai? Yes, I'm You speak English, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> what is your name? Mahesh. Mahesh? Mahesh. I've been to Delhi, Varanasi, Elakno, and Goa. But Mumbai is first time. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah, it's but uh, you see all the sign is in English, so you, yes. you don't get uh, you don't get lost. <laughs> Can you travel to other countries? Yes. Then to Ireland, then to Thailand, Indonesia, and then to the United States, okay. last trip to Los Angeles. Last trip was in Tanzania. Tanzania. I've been there in Zanzibar. Okay. Yeah, I work for a bar. What? Everyone is just jumping. What? Jumping from the train. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have a ticket. Thank you. Thank you. It's only ten rupees. Well, for some people, it's huge money. Ten rupees. Uh, give it flower to a girl. <laughs> flower. Ticket is more important for a traveler. Okay, so this way, right? <laughs> so tell me the reason why I should to go to Gaylord. Gaylord is a heritage property. It is from the uh, from year 1956. So it is almost 67 years old as well. What celebrities went there? Uh, Shankar Jai Kishan and uh, Sippy Brothers, Shole Directors. Then uh, Lata Mangeshkar, Asha Parekh, <laughs> Amisha Patel. So they all, uh, you know, almost people are going there. Almost and how 30, much cocktails there? Cocktail cost you around like, you know, 700 bucks. Is there 100 rupees? Yes. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chicken tikka masala will cost you under 1000 rupees. Just 1000. I came from Arambol. There, like, one beer cost uh, 100, 150. That is the MRP rate, no? Yeah. It is a bar rate or uh, some yeah. wine shop you will get 150 rupees beer. Yes. But uh, when you go for a restaurant, it is about the decoration, team, for people team, are working yes. for, like, uh, you know, people, they spend money on education, so they work <laughs> on salary. And speak English also. Education is important. Yes. 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 So, so what do you do? You go inside the lady. Okay. Yes. And I'll, I'll meet you. See you later. Yes. My new friend Mahish told me to go to the female coach. Do you remember I was asking many times where all women are hiding? So finally I had a chance to meet them. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm in the ladies' train. <laughs> Here I feel much safer for sure. So Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. Hello. Can I use the bus from place? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Yes. Hello. Hello. So it's very unexpected change from the crazy train to elite luxury place. <laughs> I will never come here if I'll never take the train, you see? Okay. But you ended up in a good place. Let's see prices. Okay, soup, 200. Here is thousands. Wow. So just because I'm already here, I had to order something. <laughs> so I go for 700 rupees dish, no drinks, nothing. I feel myself like, oh my god, I'm just a Rambolian hippie from Russian village, Siberian village. I'm not so, like, I don't belong here, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Chicken malai kebab. Okay. No spicy. Okay. Aha. Right. Thank you. They brought me a drink called Kalakata. It's a local drink. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's such an interesting taste. Mm. That's beautiful. Oh, guys, you understand how unusual the situation is. For example, you just take train and go to your job like you do every day, and then you meet travel blogger from Russia. You invite her to your place, I mean, to your restaurant where you work. Then she said, okay, and you prepare some cocktail for her, and she enjoys the food there. Where are ladies? Where? Tell me, guys, where you hide your women? Look, look the street, right? I'm only, only one female here. There are no women in this town. Well, I saw some in a train. Okay. There are one, two, three. Oh, it's a cinema. Oh. Hi. <laughs> it's cinema theater, right? Yes. Okay. There are film in English. Yes. English. Yes. Godzilla. <laughs> Okay. Today is Thursday. Okay. Okay, my. Okay. okay, maybe later I go. Thank you. <laughs> well, we don't have a cricket in Russia. 
I have no idea what this game is about. I can, nothing. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about the game. <laughs> okay. Right. Here is a court, right? Ой, ой, и там тоже блог, блогеры повсюду. Hello, man. Hello. Hey. Hi. What's your name? Tatiana. Okay. And your? Nice name. My name is Apsik. Apsik? Uh. Do you have YouTube channel? Yeah, YouTube channel is my Apsik Bind 0948. Okay. Dancer Apsik Bind 0948. Aha, uh -huh. okay. How do you feel in Mumbai? English? English, no English. Matab, jada English nahi hai. If I like Mumbai? Ha, Mumbai like na? Yes, okay. Mumbai. <laughs> Very like. So, okay. achcha lag raha hai aapko. Matab, uh, good looking the Mumbai. Yes, yes, yes. Kolaba. Ah, Kolaba is good looking. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Uh, you were born in Mumbai? You from Mumbai? Mumbai? Ne. No, no. No? Where? I am from uh, uh, UP. UP Pryagraj. UP Pryagraj. Illahabad. <laughs> you also? <laughs> hello, hello. All right. I am from UP, but I am living the Mumbai, the Isar West. Okay, understand, yeah. understand. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Your channel? Yes, Russian blonde abroad. Russian. Russian blonde blonde abroad. Abroad. Okay. Okay. abroad. Okay. <laughs> so, to me, the matter of what they are asking, so they can have a lot of time to Okay, I don't understand anything, but they are happy. It's most important. They are happy. I'm happy. Okay. Everyone's happy. But it's really important to know a little bit of English, right? Then you can even say a couple words to any foreign so learn english <laughs> oh. so, what's up what's up bro yeah <laughs> english english what <laughs> Risk it, fake it, steal it, and there are Mumbai police. Finally, I remember the word. It's movie theater and cinema. It's a Spanish word. So <laughs> sometimes I mix it. I never seen someone dress like this in India. But someone is buying that, right? I think it's really cool to short. Let's find out how much is that. Summer edition. <laughs> Designed by aliens. <laughs> I like it. I have to buy it for sure. Tom and Jerry. Lotus. Ah, this okay. is India, means India, Bharat. Uh -huh. And we have. Uh, um, that we have some cherries out here, names of, uh, yeah, which sort is this called? Uh, ash. 
Ah, like peach. Peach, yeah. lotus. Okay. Lotus, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank but you. Like, like, these guys, no soul store. I remember them like they're very nice. Yeah. The stuff is very good. Yeah. I like. They say you seem yeah. like designed by aliens. Made yeah. by humans. Yes. It's so funny. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to buy it. So. <laughs> Take it. So which country are you from? I'm from Russia. Oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it fits perfectly. So this example of how size is important. Look, and this one, I look like a, I don't know, like a kid, right? It's a uh, S small size. And now, yo bro, look at me right now. <laughs> it's oversized, it's cool, and I'm ready to go to South Korea. Have you read Shantaram book? It is probably the most famous book about India in the Western world. That's why there are lines to go inside of Leopold Cafe in Colaba. Because the book main character Lin was spending his time right here in the 80s. So many years passed after this book, but still. Ah, okay. Держим покрепче сумку, потому что вот всякие тут попрошаечки. Так, убегаем, короче. Убегаем, убегаем, убегаем. Все. У меня прям клаустрофобия начинается. Просто они подходят. О, смотрите, какие-то павлинные листы. Ага. Классно. Где же этот Леопольд то кафе? Так, все, сваливаем, сваливаем. Sandwich. <laughs> Will you eat it? <laughs> okay, this small guy, he was like running for me and I was of course like scared of my belongings. I don't know because like we are tourists, everyone wants something from us. So, But then he was like, no money, just food, no money, just food. And then I stopped and I was like, okay, maybe he really needs food. Well, obviously. So we went to uh, to Juice Center and I ordered, I ordered a sandwich. So let's see, he really will eat it or he will like change it for money or something. <laughs> I don't know. I hope, I hope he will eat it. And he I waited for him to see if he eats his sandwich or changes it for cash. He took the sandwich, tried little cheese crumbs, said thank you, and walked away uh, to bring his food to someone else. I promised myself that next time I back to India as a famous YouTuber and I'm gonna stay in the Taj Mahal Hotel. I never had a Louis Vuitton bag or any expensive bag, any expensive clothes, but I'm so happy I got this one and I can see this Taj Mahal palace with my own eyes as I've seen the real Taj Mahal as well. So I don't invest on the things, but I invest to emotions and to traveling the world. <laughs> If I have to describe Mumbai in one word only, it would be the contrast. Here are people working under a sea and drinking $3 coffee. Here are others sleeping under the bridge. What about my own time in Mumbai? I experienced pretty strong emotions, which is not that easy after 13 years of traveling. I met interesting people in the hostel and tried local dishes. Now it's time to take Air India flight from Mumbai to Seoul and explore cherry blossom in South Korea. Join my YouTube membership to know more about me as a person and my life behind the scene. See you in the next video. Your Russian blonde abroad.